for being you got the opportunity to leave now for being in, i'm not discussing it for being in a public get place. out of the building hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. so they would like you to leave this is their property and so they have every right to ask you to leave anytime you get close to this where you can overhear private conversations it's not somewhere you need to be, okay? Because we don't need you recording. This is, this is public. I can do that. understand that, but not where you can hear these people's business. Okay? You, have you been able to see my person? You're asking your officer to block the view of my camera? Please don't touch me. Do not touch me. All right, guys, what's going on? So this next video that you're about to see is one of the craziest things I have ever seen. Like literally, this situation is so out of control, I don't even know how to emphasize that enough. So this whole situation takes place at the Mandeville, Louisiana Motor Vehicle Administration. And here's what's going on here. You have an auditor who is filming inside of the building in the public lobby, the publicly accessible portions of the Motor Vehicle Administration. Uh, and that's totally fine he's allowed to do that no issue there but here's what happens so the personnel of the motor vehicle administration they call the police in and the police arrive on scene and they make contact with the auditor and they seemingly acknowledge the fact that yes he is allowed to be filming inside of the building but then get this they then tell him that if that makes anyone uncomfortable, specifically the personnel of the MVA, if that makes them, and that's their word, is uncomfortable, then they are going to shut down the MVA for the day. The public building during a business day on business hours, they say they are going to shut the building down, close it totally. And that's exactly what they go on to do. They closed the building down to stop this auditor from filming. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is then the police officer goes outside of the building and people are on the outside trying to get in the building and they're like, what's going on? What's going on? And they're like, well, we're closed down for the day and that guy is the reason for it. So they're like inciting people now. It's ridiculous. It's, it's so out of control, guys. And you have this one guy who's literally, he's got all this paperwork. He has business, business day, business hours, there to do normal business. This guy can't even get in the building now because they closed the building down because they couldn't accept the fact that there was an auditor in there taking photo, video, whatever else. This was harmful to the community, right? They, they harmed the community by doing this. And whether you audit in whatever you like it, you, you, you hate it, whatever, it, it's so irrelevant. They harmed their community by doing this on this day. It's definitely an out of control situation. So with that, guys, we take you to some video from the, from the Mandeville, Louisiana Motor Vehicle Administration. Out of line. Check this video out. Hello, officer. How are you? How's it going? I'm Trevor Strickland, Louisiana State Police. Badge number is 2440. Thank um, you. So we've kind of been called here a little bit of concern going on. What's uh what you trying to do today? Uh, I'm an uh, independent journalist. I'm working on a story. So have you at any point passed this spot right here? Nope. Okay. So again, I understand that this part is the lobby and that's an open public space. You can report out there all you want. I understand it's, it's state property. Anytime you get close to this where you can overhear private conversations, it's not somewhere you need to be, okay? Because we don't need you recording. This, this is people. public. I can do I that. I understand that, but not where you can hear these people's business, okay? So again, by all means, record out here in the lobby all you want. But at some point, when you start recording other people's private business, this is public. Yeah, I understand it's public, but just because it's public doesn't mean you can do what you want. I'm telling you, you can record, and I'm telling you, you can record this lobby, but you don't need to be in earshot of private conversations that are going on with other people to take care of their things. That's why you have to be called to be past this point. Before. I have That's never it. passed this point. Right, but you can still overhear That's their right. conversations. So That's irrelevant. This is still public. Back up. That's all I'm asking you to do. Respectfully, I will decline. So, have we met before? Weren't you on the traffic stop where your car was expired and all that? And I was trying to get you out of the roadway and then you went back to the troop? Uh, that yeah, you? that was probably yeah. me. Yeah, okay. Mandeville PD is going to come and a couple other supervisors have been notified 
they're going to start looking into some regulations. At any point, if you make these ladies nervous, we're going to close the office, and you will leave when we close the office. If the office is closed, then yeah. Do you actually have official business, or you just want to be in the audit? Or do you just want to do the First Amendment audit today? Is that what we're doing? I'm auditing. Right, right. But do you actually have any business here today other than just the audit? I mean, this is my business. Right, okay. Well, I guess since he's making the customers uncomfortable, let's just close the building. Okay. So I'll go ahead and notify okay. my supervisors. Yes. Do we have any other customers in here? Looks empty. Right, right you're now. the branch manager, correct? Yes. And you would like the building closed right now? Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and go outside. We're closing the building. Fair enough. We uh we had to close for today. For the whole day? The whole day. We'll so be back people don't tomorrow. spend their money coming down here. What, what you supposed to do then? Ask him. He's the reason why we had to close. Wait a minute. But he don't run the place, though. Yeah, he's making a bunch of customers nervous. So the higher ups, the commissioner said, you shut the office down. How the hell he's making them nervous? He he's recording them. private conversations at the window. The lab in there recording the public. Well, hell, you want something to record? Hey, you don't start. Don't start. Hey, don't don't give him what he wants. Try and make another appointment. You should be getting an email. No, I didn't spend over eighty five hundred dollars. I believe you one hundred percent. I'm right there with you, my man. I'm right no, there. No, you ain't spend eighty five hundred dollars. No, but I know how problem. frustrating. I know how frustrating this stuff is. I'm trying to get this sorted out. Okay. We close for the day. Okay. All right, guys, what's going on? So check out this crazy incident a few years back out of Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are familiar with the uh, very prominent YouTube channel, Long Island Audit. Well, back in 2022, Long Island Audit was actually, and Sean Paul Reyes, I should say, was actually performing an audit on the Hagerstown post office when he was arrested for being inside that building and filming. That's right, two police officers with the Hagerstown City Police Department actually arrested Long Island Audit for conducting that audit that day. Well, in any event, uh, Sean Paul Reyes would ultimately sue the city of Hagerstown and they would settle with him in the amount of $12,500. So they definitely knew it was an un unlawful arrest and as a matter of fact, it was an unlawful arrest point blank cut and dry when you watch this body camera footage which is what we're about to show you uh, this is something separate from the footage that i'm sure you have seen if you guys out there are familiar with this incident you know that he actually posted that footage on his channel uh, as it relates to this incident with his camera but the footage that we're about to play you is separate from that it is the body camera footage that the police officers were wearing on the day they arrested him and you will hear uh, these sort of outlandish claims being made by the postal employees, uh, which ultimately lead to the arrest of Long Island, Island Audit. They're trying to essentially build this false narrative against him. These post office employees trying to say he's harassing people and he's doing all these things that he was not doing. He was just inside the building taking some video and that was it. And they tried to, the post office employees, I should say, tried to make a bigger deal out of it than it was. And Long Island Audit was arrested. It happened very quick. So it's a wild set of circumstances, but it is definitely a 1A victory. And it makes the uh, city of Hagerstown look pretty bad. I will tell you that much. They do not look good in this footage. They look like they were trying to cook the books against this guy. And they paid for it. So... Check out that footage again from the Hagerstown Post Office back in 2022, an incident where a First Amendment auditor was falsely arrested. Is it you? They called in here, so it's not someone they want. Hey, thank you. The post office would like you to leave. Hi, how are you? I'm um, perfectly wonderful. Today. I'm Officer Beavers. Officer Krauss is coming through the door. You're being audio and video recorded for evidentiary purposes. Um, hey, I'm sorry, can you just say your name and your badge uh, number? Well, I can tell you I'm Officer Deavers, this is Officer Krause, and I appreciate your videotaping everything. But um, the post office called and asked, said they've asked you to leave, so they would like you to leave. This is their property, and so they have every right to ask you to leave. So what, could you Can I just leave? get your badge number? Why can't I get your badge number? It's 3126. Okay, thank you. So can you please leave? Do you understand, what department are you with? I'm, 
I'm with the Hagerstown City Police Department, same city you're in. Oh, okay. I assume I just, you know that. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. So if you could do me a favor and please leave, that'd be great. Okay. Asked can, can you call a supervisor? Because you have no jurisdiction on this property. Okay. You do not. Okay. I'm telling you. Before okay. you make a mistake, you should call your supervisor. This is federal property. And there are certain things we're allowed to do in federal building, but we have the video because we have people's personal information. Right. You know, we have, of course, they have our machines here. Out there, a couple of the customers basically told him, like, you know, stop, stop filming, get away. He's like, I, he's like, I have the right. He goes, you don't have, he's when you're in public, he goes, you have to, you know, to, you know uh, know that you can be filming. And, you know, he's one of these types, you know, that has to play live stream. Right, or, right, right. Or, right. Or, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we can ask that kind of stuff. Supervisor who's here and so just, you know, doing yeah, people's personal information that they're people's personal information that they're packing this counter. Plus, so, sir, who do I have the luxury of talking with today? Oh, my name is Sean. Sean what? Uh, just, just Sean. No, we don't have a last name. It's just Sean. So no one gave you a surname when you were born? It's just Sean. It's just Sean. So you want to know my information, but you don't want to share yours with me? Yeah, in a minute. I'm busy right now. Okay. Hey guys, we're Okay. All right, we'll deal with you in a minute. So did you deal with him as well? Is he dealing with him? Who said you want him trespassed? Or? Yeah, supervisor said that they want that because obviously we've tried to talk to him. He refuses. He keeps you know, filming. People have asked him, so they just basically were like, you know, we'd like to have you know, trespassing. Have you asked him to leave yourself? We have. Yeah, I have. Okay. Cool. Uh, multiple people have. Actually, three, three, what, at least three employees have. And he refuses. He said he has the right to do basically whatever he wants to do. Good. Go ahead. Good, sir. He's refusing to leave. Yeah, get it to him. Hunter. Yeah, he's one of these guys that videos and you know, tries to join police up for First Amendment rights and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Video on the whole time, following us around. Copy that back one. You want to mark up? You ready? Okay. Yeah. okay. So you leave it? You told me. Are you leaving? Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Yes. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? No, you're under arrest. Check out this video from Coshocton, Ohio. Definitely a crazy situation. Right here you have a guy performing an audit on a city hall building. And right from the get-go, the staff personnel are all flipped out about this guy uh, being inside the interior of the city hall, taking video. They claim that it's a private area and that private documentation is around uh, the building and that he cannot be filming inside of there. Uh, ultimately, they do call in police and police right away uh, go about trying to get this guy out of the building and they ultimately arrest this auditor uh, for being inside of this city hall building and for filming the interior contents of this city hall. So again, guys, definitely a crazy situation. Uh, nothing that I could see in this video was actually unlawful. A city hall is sort of the gold standard of what is considered a public forum, and he should have had every right to videotape inside of the city hall building. Whether or not he was in any restricted rooms or restricted areas, I do not know that information based off of watching the video. Uh, I didn't see anything that was 
uh, any signage posted that said that he was in any restricted area or prohibited areas uh, that would not uh, be accessible to the public. So again, that's a gray area, but generally speaking, a city hall is definitely a public forum situation and there should have been no problem with taking video inside uh, of this building based on what I can see. So with that, guys, check out this video again coming out of Ohio. We will catch you guys soon. Hi. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. Thank you. How can I help you? Just taking some pictures and video. Some of the stuff in here is confidential. Okay. Yeah. What's, What's it for? for? What's it for? And the onus would be on you to keep it confidential. Yeah, but who, who are you with? Myself. Yeah, you can't do that in here, okay? Yeah, I sure can. No. No, sir. There's confidential information yeah, we'll in We'll get in here. trouble. There's, cool. there's documents on the counters that have people's names and social securities that you could okay. zoom in on. And you can turn that over. No, I need you to put that away. Sir, I need to ask you to walk out of this office, please. I will when I'm done getting my shots. No, I need you to do it now. Please. I need you to please leave. Yeah, I will. Sir. Uh. There's no recording. Yeah, when I'm done getting my pictures. No, sir, there's confidential information uh, in here that you can cannot be. Up. No, you, can cover it you up. can't cover it up because if you zoom in on it at home, you have people's social security numbers and other information that you cannot right. have. Right, and you can, like I said, you can turn it over. The onus is on you no. to keep that information no. private, not me. It is your Danette, responsibility. Danette. Danette. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, you've you've spun around a couple times since I've been here. Yeah, and you got and it was more than that. Who are you with, sir? Are you with he's, the he's myself. With I'm with myself. But what's your purpose? To exercise my right Sir, to be you able to take pictures in and on video our desks. Danette, 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 just come on. in public places. <laughs> Is this not publicly accessible? The they public, are. the public doesn't oh, come in here. Hey. In here if I can uh, see it, I can record uh, it. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. You can't <laughs> trespass the eyes. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. Good, because you don't know if you've been misinformed. Is this not City Hall? This is City Hall. And it's not publicly accessible? City Hall is always publicly accessible. Okay, that's what I thought. So I should leave a public building because why? I don't know if you're allowed to record it's, when there's confidential material. Right, and, and the right. onus is on you to keep that information confidential. Oh, yeah. You can turn it over, you know, but as far as somebody coming in and taking pictures and video, it's not illegal, sir. The onus isn't on me to keep anything that's on your desk confidential. The onus is on you. You can take whatever papers are out and turn them over. It's just the same, sir. If I walked in there and I didn't have this camera in my hand and I walked up to that desk and I happened to look down at social security number, how do you know I don't have a hey, photographic memory? Deputy McKay from the sheriff's office, you need to leave now. Hey. You need to leave now. I'm not going to discuss this. If you want to go to the, fire, or the sheriff's office and get arrested, stay here. For being in you a got, public... You got the, for being you got a, the opportunity to leave now. For being in, I'm not discussing it. For being in a public... Get court. out of the building hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. Go. Don't assault me. Go. Don't I'm assault not assaulting you. I'm telling you, sir. leave. Please. You want to go to the sheriff's Take office? Your hands off me. Do you want to go to the sheriff's Sir, office? I'm in trouble. Go. Take your hands off. Me. I said you're leaving. Take your hands Don't off me. me. Don't push me down the stairs. Don't push me down the stairs. You're going to jail. You're under arrest. For what? Disorderly conduct. I constitutionally. I ordered you to leave and you didn't. A public building. Turn around. A public building? Turn around. Put a your... public building? You're, now you're going to get it for Sir. You're going to get arrested for resisting arrest. I wasn't resisting. What, what was I resisting? I'm in a public place. You're not complying. Put your hands on the wall. <laughs> now stay right there. I'm in a public place. I thought you said... Turn around. Put your hands on the wall. I thought you said... You were right right You're going to get I you're, thought you said you were dead. I am. 
Now you've assaulted a police officer. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? Check out this police interaction out of Oakland, California. Now, I think there is a very important lesson to be learned uh, if you are a police department or police officer around the country with this video. And that lesson is as follows. And that is that civilians are not responsible for the privacy concerns of other individuals. Uh, that being on your computer monitor or whatever else you guys might be working with. So. This person in this video kind of did something that I wouldn't do. I never generally think it's wise to uh, start the confrontation yourself with police officers. I also don't know why somebody's personal information would be newsworthy in the journalistic sense. Uh, but on the legal merits, he is correct. And you had a police officer, multiple police officers, I should say, in this video, try to stop somebody doing public photography uh, based on the fact that they said that this person could not film uh, through their vehicles and onto the computer screens, which evidently had confidential information on it. I don't know what that would have been, but there's no expectation of privacy in public, and police officers have to create that privacy. It's not the duty of civilians to do that. So there's an important lesson to be learned in this video. And with that, guys, check it out, and we'll talk to you soon. Can I do something for you, my man? Uh, can I have your name, please? What's that right here? My name is Jay Ross. Could I ask what we had going on here? What's that? Could I ask what we had it's going on? It's police business, official police business. Did you have a call here? What's that? Did you have a call here? Yes. Okay. Could I ask you what the call's about? You can, but I'm not going to answer you. It's, it's confidential. Okay. All right. Do you have an identification number by chance? 612. 612. 612. Thank, you. Yep. Thank you very much. So I'm good with you. I'm good with you filming me. I don't have to deal. move anywhere. There's, There's no law that says I can't be here. I, there is because I'm about to bring up a person's confidential information. Well, you're going to have to keep that private then. What's that? You're going to have to keep that private then. My man, I'm going to ask you to back away from the car. So I is can there a law that says I have to back away, sir? There's a law that says that he has a right to keep his, his, his information. What law is private. that? Would you want someone? Would you want? Are you referring to, to the Fourth Amendment? Would you want somebody to film you while all your information was on the screen? Well, it's not about what I want. You said that there's a law, so now I'm trying to find out what oh, that law man. is. Okay. Hey, Dave. Hey, I'm trying to just get his info. Could you just block? I don't want him to see his personal information. So just stand. In You're gonna restrict me from exercising my constitutional oh, rights. Man, I'm about to bring up somebody's personal information, and I'm not, I'm not gonna show it to you. So you're asking an officer to block the view of my camera? The view of you being able to see my person. You're personal asking your officer to yeah. block the view of my camera? You... Please don't touch me. Do not touch hey, me. You better back up. What law says I have to back up? He's going through someone's personal what information. Law? You what law? What law? You're gonna be obstructing with our investigation. How so, ma'am? How am I obstructing when I'm not in between him Would and you his? Like your personal How is that obstructing? Do you know what the, the definition of obstruct? It's you not about record. what I want. No, you can I can record right you here. You can record over there. No, I can record you right here. You can record over Call there. Call a supervisor. I'm He's not right talking to you. you talk Bring to him. him. I'm not He's talking to you anymore. Don't touch me. Don't get in the way of my camera. He's good. He can record. I'm I'm right, you're angled. Good. You're good? Yeah, we're good. Absolutely insane, man. So now we're good. So there wasn't a law that says I can't do this? Man, you need, so what we're trying to do is... We're no, you just lied to done. me. If, if there is a law, please tell me what law that is. Look, if there is a... I'm not going to... No, I'm not... No, 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 no. Back it up. So you, you, said, you said there is a law that says I can't record that. I'm requesting you to tell me what law that is. I'm telling you, we're doing an investigation. So you're just you? dancing around the question because you have nothing to back up your claim that... Your claim okay. that it's against the law to record that. 
You guys have to make it private. I'm allowed to stand in public and exercise my constitutional rights. Yeah, but right now we're doing an investigation, so that was our issue. You also said I was obstructing. Do you know the definition of the word obstructing? It's yeah. a physical act. I'm not physically obstructing. Me standing here exercising my constitutional rights cannot be obstructing. Like I said, when someone's looking through someone's personal records... I'm not looking through anyone's personal records. You're recording... That is an exaggeration, ma'am. That is someone's personal information. We have sensitive computer systems. So you have to keep that private. Exactly. Okay. But, with you, but you can't violate my right. rights to do your job. Do you understand that? Your job but is to keep it private. So you're interfering is what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. We'll ask your supervisor since okay. you're uneducated on the subject. Okay. So how long have you been with the police? How long have you been a police officer? I haven't. I'm not. So what is the argument? Are you an expert on the law? Okay. So do I interfere with your job? You are right okay. now. Are you serious? Is that your job? You, this is insane. So now it's just we're gonna belittle me and oh, is no. that your job? No, obviously, no, obviously, 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 you're interrupting me from doing what I'm doing. Okay. You were well, called over here to you touched me. Fine. You said that I wasn't allowed to record that. You said it was against the law. You nicely, it doesn't matter how nice you, you ask somebody to violate their rights. That's that's a violation of my rights. Okay. The well, Fourth well, Amendment says okay. you guys. You guys can't violate his identity. All right. Am I wrong or am I right? How are we doing, Sarge? Oh, man, just another day. So could I ask you, is there a law that says I'm I can't I record into his it. window? So, so this is the thing. Is there a law that says, no, there isn't a law. However, There here, isn't a law, so but, they lied but, to me. No, but if, but there's, they confi if there's confidential information now uh -huh. that's only required for law enforcement and you're not law enforcement, you cannot record that. But what law says that? You you guys have to keep it private. I me standing in public exercising my rights, you can't violate my rights I'm not trying to, to violate do your rights. No, not you specifically. Yeah. I'm just saying in general. You you can't violate a citizen's rights to exercise their you know their Dude, you know your rights. That's what I'm, I'm not, saying. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you. Well, no, no, I'm you not know. it's not about the moral aspect. It's about they told me there's a law that I can't stand here and record that. He has to keep it private. I can respect that, yeah. but you can't violate my rights to do that. True, but you cannot record what's on that. But what law says that? Is, is there, there, is there a penal code? Yes, there's laws. You, would you mind looking it up? I will give it to you. That's no problem. Would you mind uh <laughs> you're a little well, close? I know. I know. We're good. I, I'm good with him. I don't so this is what Sergeant's physically trying to butt me I'm out of the way. He's pressing out. his body up into me right I'm now. I'm trying to butt you out. You my right dick to is right touching now? your leg. Are you serious? Actually, it's not. Because that would make me feel very uncomfortable to watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is insanity, bro. <laughs> so once I told him my dick was touching his leg, he was standing so close. He took a little... Look how close he is. I can still see all the info though. It just makes no sense. So it's Dude, about can, first off. So you're gonna punch. You're gonna off, punch I'm telling me. you. I'm telling you. You cannot record. Are that you gonna stuff. arrest me? Dude, I really you just, don't want you. You just smacked my hand with the phone. Dude, I'm telling is you. There you cannot, law, is there a law? Listen, listen. I'm trying to respect. Your is rights, that a lawful okay? order? Yes. You cannot record this stuff. Can you because please, can you please tell me what law? I will give it to you. I will give it to you. I'm waiting. Okay. I will give it to you. After we're done, I will give it to you. I have no problem doing that. So you're that. just going to violate, you just touched me. I didn't violate you, man. Oh, oh my God. Goodness. Stop playing this victim I'm role. I'm playing with you? Stop I'm playing, playing a, victim role. what'd you say? Stop playing this victim role. Man. I'm a victim. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You guys are the ones crying about me standing here recording. You're the ones who made all this big deal. Three officers coming up and touching me and bumping into me. Can I bump into you, Sergeant? Well, first off. You bumped I, into me. There's no debating that. I, I bumped into you. I'm not going to argue with you. Let's take it away. Oh. Let's take it away. Yeah, let's take it away now that we've been a bunch of assholes and violent. What's your name? I just told you my name. Do you not have a good memory? Do I not have a good memory? Yeah, I told it to you earlier. More you disrespect. Can go back the, you can go back More disrespect. The, go back in the recording. More disrespect. I gave this. You are a child. You know that? Go back in your all head. this for nothing. And I still recorded all the go info back on in there. Your head. And I, I still got the no, info. You're, just, you're acting like you have a really good memory. I don't want to make sure. I'm acting like what? Name. I told you my name, my badge number. I want you to go back. Yeah, <laughs> look out man, I'm moving.